Kenny, the Pirates split at home in the final games of the regular season. A uh, good win over Linfield and then a hard-fought setback against Willamette. Uh, take us back through that last weekend and, and the opportunity to celebrate our seniors. Yeah, so um, Friday was a really good start to, you know, what we had a envision as a hopeful weekend, you know, kind of like we had talked about earlier last week, just kind of trying to carry over what we did um, the previous weekend at George Fox, you know, playing a team the second time after you beat them the first time. So I was really pleased with the performance from the team. You know, we had a really good, I think, 30 or 35 minutes aside from a few, you know, two or three minute spells, which weren't great. Um, but aside from that, it was a really good performance Friday night and a lot of momentum carrying into Saturday, which we knew was going to be, you know, a tough one against the hungry Willamette team. You know, also, um, you know, hunting for a conference tournament berth, as well as coming off of a tough one the previous night um, down at Whitman, you know. So that was a tough one, kind of letting things get away from us, kind of that last five minutes or so, still struggled with, you know, the zone that they kind of mixed up defenses with, and that kind of caused us some trouble. So that was disappointing, but, you know, it was all, always, you know, kind of about the seniors. This weekend I was really proud we were able to recognize them and, and hopefully end with the memory of a positive season, especially Friday night rather than Saturday. Yeah, for the first time in, in several years, the final game of the regular season meant something for the Whitworth women's basketball team. Just talk about what that suggests in terms of progress for this program. Yeah, it was definitely a positive, I'd say. I mean, I know there's been some ones where it's came down to, you know, that last weekend, but, you know, definitely going to that, that last game hopefully is going to carry, you know, some learning lessons um, going forward for all of our returners and just kind of set the program on a positive trajectory looking forward to, you know, what it takes going through this season. Now you can, you know, going forward into next year and years beyond that, it's conference seasons of knowing that really every game matters. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, the third or fourth game. You have to treat every game like it's, you know, the that final weekend because you never know what's going to matter. Talk about what the rest of the spring semester and the summer will look like for the returnees as they prepare for next year. Um, some time off, you know, now for sure, kind of, you know, get your emphasis back in the classroom. I'm, you know, I'm really proud of the academic performance my group put forth in the fall and really carrying that forward now in the spring. You know, once the season ends, you always feel like you can take on more of an academic load. So now it's kind of a balancing act between your time in the classroom as well as rest and recovery. Now it's maybe some more, you know, family, friends, social time. So kind of getting away, getting a, you know, mental break for most, a physical break for some. And then, you know, usually after spring break at the end of March, when things come back, we really kind of, you know, have the team kind of focus in on what things they want to start working on individually on their own. Um, but now it's kind of just like exit meetings for the year, give them stuff that they can start working on for in the off season, and then really just kind of, you know, enjoy that social work-life school balance that, you know, they have here at Whitworth.